cicadas are really loud, but um, hopefully you can hear. Uh, anyway, good morning. It's uh, just another morning here at the Pukulski, isn't it? Yeah. The household. Mm -hmm. What are we doing today, Vale? With these? We're cutting the chicken flying feathers. That's right. So, well, I will say <laughs> the girls were amazing and they actually pulled off. Like, we had this temporary thing set up because we had to replace all of our fence around our property because the it chickens is, kept getting through. That's the fence in here. So they pulled out all the stakes already and they rolled up the wire and they're like, we're ready to go, Mom. I'm like, let's do this thing. <laughs> so, um, we're going to just trim their flying feathers and you'll get to see how we do that. And it'll be awesome because then they won't be able to fly and then they can roam around in our backyard and prep our garden for planting and get it all stirred up in that wonderful manure. It's going to be great. The chickens have to be a friend or else they can't eat our plants. Yeah. Right, we are going to be putting up another fence back here to when we have our garden in season that they can't just like come out and eat our garden. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Did you get one? Oh, they're all trying to come out. This hey, no, open. Bella, we can't let them out. We got to trim this so we know. This is our biggest hen. Ooh, hold on to it. Bella, we got to know which ones we trim the feathers. So we got to do one at a time. That's the trick, guys. <laughs> is not letting them all come out. We'll find they're all three different chickens, so. Okay. All right, we're going to show you now. Up oh, there she goes. All right, so caught us some chickens and we are going to be trimming their flight feathers. It's completely unharmful to the chickens. I mean, they can't feel anything. Um, zoo cages are really singing today. Seriously, y'all. Oh. <laughs> so anyway. Oh. Hey there, be nice. I know, I know, I know. You, you don't like this. They, they love anyway. to go out. So we are going to trim their flight feathers. It's the, what basically what it does it just is what it sounds like we're cutting off the feathers that allow them to fly so that they can roam around our yard and I don't have to worry about them flying over the neighbor's fence so oh, going in yeah it just is much easier to keep contained oh, um, don't cut, don't cut. so yeah Bill, it takes two people so well not it's easier with two people so I'm gonna show you so, so right here so you, you can see, see the shortest feather and right that, there. that end of the flight feather. Yeah, so the middle feather right there, yep, okay, see that middle one, how it's short? That divides the flying feathers to these feathers here. These are just the regular feathers. So these are the flight feathers, the ones up in the front. And the, the short one in the middle of them is a sip, the separator, and you don't touch that. So now, as you can see up here is, I don't know if you can maybe a little closer. My little one keeps shoving her chicken in front of the camera, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. So these here are what you're going to trim the feathers up to. So the short ones is where you cut it off. You don't, um, and that basically is a guide of the nerves. Okay, Vea, why don't you think, go ahead. Over here? Yep. And just follow along those. Yep. Do I cut this part? You're just going to, yep, underneath the feather. Yep. You don't want to go too close. Yep, there you go. Follow the line of the small feathers. There you go. And you're gonna want a pair of sharp scissors. Anyway, so there you go. That's, you can see the middle one, how it separated it. And you trimmed their flight feathers. Now you're just gonna do the same thing to the other side. And these feathers are actually really good if you compost them. Um, they're really good like for nitrogen and your gardening and all of that. So, so again, this is the middle feather. Yep. So we're just gonna pull that aside and we'll do that. You're gonna trim them? Can I help mama? Yep, you, I'll, help, you can, I'll hold yours and you can trim yours. All right, she's all done. Got both of them and you can see. Crazy chickens. <laughs> Alright. And I'll show you. We'll let one try to go and fly so you can kind of see it. Alright, Bella. So you're gonna find the middle feather. Where's the middle feather? Let's go a little closer so they can see. Where's the middle feather? Yep, you found it. 
All right, now go ahead and you're gonna start there and you're gonna follow these short uh, feathers. start with the next find the middle feather yep now you're gonna go ahead and start I'm looking for that feather. yep that is a pretty one I know you're almost done so some of these if you have like a light bird and they're like really big flyers I've also had to do this for some of mine here hold this so some of them I've even had to cut right here um no no not this one but if they're like if they keep flying over the fence grab that chicken and you can cut these along the their feathers as well as you can see the short ones so she should i'll show you she shouldn't be able to fly too well so as you can see it's kind of more minimal all right well we got a rooster <laughs> Thank you. his name is mr joe Mr. Jump? I. All right, Mr. Jump. So this is a big, wait, these are some big feathers, so. Yeah, we Where's might the... have to with his, but we'll see if he flies over fences. Here, go ahead and do that. Right here? Okay. Yep. Hannah, look at its wings. So you can tell this is the flying feathers and this is the flight. Yeah. Yeah. The flying and these are just the regular. The regular. So beautiful. I know, girl. I know. Okay. Another side. You are quite the beauty. Ready? Yeah, she's a beauty. Yeah. Woo. There you go. Making progress over here. <laughs> the last with junk. This is a second. Bella wants to watch this. Okay. She does. Okay. okay, as I'm gonna go get a chicken, and Bella's gonna run back. Okay. Really quick. Okay. Now what we're doing here, we, what we're doing, we're, we're gonna do spur this chicken and the rooster. Look at that thing. Oh, nice. Um, okay. So, this rooster's got some mighty big spurs. This is from the beginning of our entry into all of this, right? It's about eight, he's about eight years old. We have a little hooligan. <laughs> and he needs to back off. <laughs> That's that's serious he's country. About how old? He's like over eight years old. Yeah, he's an old guy. He, I mean, you can tell. He looks like he's grandpa. Grandpa Joe. Yeah, he's grandpa status. Let's see grandpa Joe. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, so he has massive spurs. Boys. Show him the spurs. Little big old boys. So, we're gonna be. They say, pliers. They say they have no nerves here and that you just twist it off. And we're gonna, they say it bleeds a little bit. So we'll wipe it up. And I have some owie oil that I'm gonna put on there. And, owie? Yeah, I mean, I just feel like I need to put it on there. They say you don't have to, but I just feel like he deserves some owie oil after going through this. So, here I'm we go. I'm a little nervous for him. <laughs> this one first, I just want All right, how do I you- I need you to hold one. So you hold it? Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't, uh, all right, so see. you just twist it. So just. They say if you just keep twisting it, it pops off. Ugh. Here it comes. It's going to get bloody. I shouldn't have worn my nice sandals. <laughs> take these away, please. Please take those away. There it comes. Ooh. There it is. Oh, I didn't bleed that all that much. Look at that big boy. We're gonna make a necklace out of that. Hanging yeah. around our neck. No. Ew. In remembrance of Papa Joe. Papa Joe, sure. Who wants to take that? Okay. okay. Oh, who is it? Actually didn't bleed that bad at all. No, it didn't. That's the so. spurred. Okay. So are you gonna do the other one? I'll just hold this. Yeah. I'm gonna nurture you, okay? Because I feel like really bad for you, but as you can see, it doesn't even hurt him. He doesn't have any nerves there, so he's just chill. He's such a good rooster. Yeah, right. You guys don't hey, like guys. him. No, I always—they always, always want to make chicken soup out of him. And I'm like, no. 
I, I well, like this man. Well, because he's very old. Yes, but I can't. I just can't part. He makes beautiful babies. Look this one this. with the Rhode Island red. Oh my gosh, yes. the babies are beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> Here it comes. All right. Whoa! We got another one. There you are. So pretty much it so, just. So mom, does that fall off? Yeah. So it just it's the hard part. It takes it off. It's the actual spur, the yeah, the skeleton of it, the bone. Yeah, the bone part of it. This part, it's not so hard. But that's it. You good, bud? All right. I'll put some owie oil on you just because you did such a good job. Not that you need it or anything, but. <laughs> What this will do is we'll protect the hens when he goes to the mate. It won't tear him up as bad. Yeah. Yeah, so there's really nothing to it. It's our first time taking off spurs. It's pretty fun, huh? Looks like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> and the end! Forget to subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up and write us a comment. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Bye. Bye.